Hello everyone, hope you had a great day in the market today. I sure did. I am back with another video. I know it's been a little while since I put a video out. I was on vacation. My family and I went to Lake George in New York and had a nice couple days up there. I've just been busy, so I've been wanting to get this video out. Uh, I'm gonna talk about a couple things. As the thumbnail indicated, I have gotten scammed. Guys, wait to hear this story. I want to talk about uh, my last video I made talking about uh, Damn Good Kyle, and I want to make an update on that. I have gotten a couple questions about how I manage my trades, how I enter, place my stop and targets. I'm going to answer that question. And someone asked me to explain my charts. They don't understand how I'm trading here. This looks like a mess. And I agree, guys, it does look like a mess. Um, so I'm going to explain that. And uh, I've got some updates to the master prop scam list to talk about. And I'm going to talk about my affiliate links. So uh, let's get into the video. So I've updated the master prop scam list. As I'm working on putting this on a website, you know, a prop scam warning site that is coming but I have updated this list these are firms that I recommend you don't work with <laughs> there's been reports that most of the time it's denied payments you know once I start hearing multiple people are getting denied payments I'm gonna put the firm on the warning list now this is my opinion based on evidence I've seen I don't recommend these firms and then I've listed here the firms that I do recommend take profit trader is my favorite super fast withdrawals easy rules affordable cost to get the accounts you can now have five accounts i love that um fast track trader is my my second favorite you know these are direct to pa accounts there are some updates i wanted to talk about over at fast track it looks like they are closer to working out an agreement with ninja trader to get trade of eight set up for us to trade on ninja uh, they just launched a nitro which gives us full access to all of the tools and stuff on quant tower that's what i've been trading on honestly i'm kind of used to it now i don't know if i will trade back you know switch it over to ninja trader when it becomes available and they're willing to do that for us if we want to start trading on something else and then switch to ninja but i'm not sure that i'm going to do that i did just get my first payout on fast track so that's exciting stuff tick tick is my next favorite so they have a CQG account, a Trade of Eight account, and a Rhythmic account. And I was really mixed up and purchased the CQG account thinking it would give me Trade of Eight access and I could trade that on Ninja with my other accounts. And I was mistaken. That is to trade on the CQG platform, which I've never heard of and I have no interest in learning. So I just want to let you know that if you're purchasing accounts there, you know, where other companies say CQG really means trade of eight. This one really means CQG guys don't pick that. Um, but they were so nice and they made an exception and they fixed it for me. The tick tick direct accounts. Uh, that's what I have gotten. My funded futures. Um, I see a lot of good feedback in the discord about these guys, 80 bucks all in that's, you know, includes your setup fee. I hear they're paying like almost on demand, so pretty easy rules, good account. Blue Sky, I really like the Blue Sky static accounts. They are currently 50% off until August 16th. I've got the coupon code here. I'm interested in getting, you're allowed to have two accounts here. I'm interested in getting two of the larger accounts. Um, I had an opportunity to speak to Mike, the owner of Blue Sky, and his wife today really nice people and right now I have some take profit accounts I've got fast track trader I've got the tick tick accounts I'm going to be adding some my funded futures and some blue sky uh, these are my go-to guys um, so that's there and then I've listed everyone else down here I've made a little table just to make it easier instead of having to scroll through I'm just giving you the, the names the links and yeah, the coupon codes if I could find any I'm noting which ones I don't recommend and I want to say something about customer support across all the prop firms, you know, um, and I've just noticed this lately. We're, it takes a while to get a response from customer service. And this is across the board. This isn't any like one specific company. I've had to reach out to support on all of these guys recently. And I can tell you it takes a day or two to get a response. I know that can get frustrating, but I think there's a lot of new traders in the 
future space that have come from Forex. And I think we're used to on-demand support and it's probably just not practical anymore. So guys, you're just going to have to have some patience. Um, I'm sure they want to get to us and help us all. And it's definitely frustrating when you have a problem and you're waiting. But I think this is just the norm. Uh, I, I can't say there's one doing anything better than the other. And I think they're all in the same boat at this point. Now, I don't have Top Step listed as one of my favorites. I know people are going to be yelling about me in the comments about that. I just don't recommend Top Step Trader. I don't like that you have to watch Top Step TV all day to get a coupon code. So it's kind of annoying. Um, I don't think people should be trading and watching live streams all day. You should be paying attention to your charts. So I just don't like that about them. And mostly, I don't like that I can't trade Top Step accounts with my other accounts. I can't log in to Top Step and my other accounts. So just for that reason, I don't recommend them. If you're trying to tr trade with multiple props and you want efficiency and convenience of trading them all together, it's just not going to work with Top Step. I'm not saying they're a scam. I know a lot of people love them. I know they pay on time. I'm just saying for the reasons I just stated, they just still work for me, you know? All right, so like I said, I'm putting this into a much easier to use format on a website, but for now, it's all here for you guys. I'm updating the scam warning list. Again, always check this before you purchase an account just to make sure you're not getting scammed. Just wanted to touch on this post I made on the community page. I also made this post on Discord. You know, after a lot of hounding, I finally relented and agreed to do some affiliates. I'm affiliating with a couple of prop firms that I like, uh, certainly ones I recommend. I was really reluctant to affiliate with any prop firms because I didn't want to sign affiliate agreements that restricted what I could say about any prop firm. They were getting on me in the Discord about this and pointed out that I already signed those agreements when I signed up to trade with these companies. So I did look into that and they are correct. So that really negated that issue I had. Uh, I do spend a lot of time in collecting resources, updating the master prop list on my YouTube content. I do have some expenses to put that content out. I also have two kids in the military. One is a disabled army vet and the other one is currently serving in the Navy and will be getting discharged soon. He's finished his five years and will be starting out on their, you know, life journey. So this is a great way I can help them supplement their income until they get on their feet. Up until now, I've been promoting links from other YouTubers and I'm happy to spread the wealth. I'm just adding a couple links of my own and those are my intentions with it. So if you're supporting me by using my links and my coupon codes, guys, I really appreciate you a lot. Whether I'm affiliating with somebody or not, that is not going to change my personality. If Take Profit Trader starts, you know, stops paying people, I'm going to be talking about it. So I just want to put that out there. And I know a lot of people have been really supportive and I just want to say thank you. So I got to tell you guys what happened with us in the Discord in this Trader Smarts levels. So Trader Oracle's been talking about these levels. A lot of people in my Discord are interested in them. And a couple people have subscribed to the ES and the NQ levels and we're sharing them in the Discord. So I got paid from YouTube. I, sh I made it was $300. So I thought, let me use that money and do something nice for the Discord and get them all of the Trader Smart levels. So that is exactly what I did. I paid the fee to get all of the Trader Smart levels here. I'm on the website here. It's $297 for all of the month of the levels. Now, guys, this does not count the indicator that you need to plot them. It only gives you the levels. So I, I got the levels per subscription. I got them activated and I made channels in the Discord, you know, to put these levels in. And um, suddenly Aaron noticed that Tony from Trader Smarts had joined the Discord. So we panicked and we booted them. They're here, hurry and hide. And it was ridiculous. I like, we were like kids caught, you know, uh, partying or something. I knew he wouldn't be happy about me sharing his levels on the Discord, but there was nothing prohibiting me from doing it. Here's the website. If you click on all, it takes you to a purchase page. You purchase them. There's nothing here that says I agree to, here it is. By clicking subscribe, you agree to the terms and this privacy service. I did not see this uh, and I let him back in the Discord. He pointed that out to me and I stopped sharing. And 
to kind of make amends for that i let him promote his product in the discord i do not let anybody promote products in my discord so i felt like you know we were at a good place i said you know, honestly i don't use these levels i was just trying to do something nice for the discord with my youtube money and I could just cancel them so he did in fact ban me from uh, using the levels but he also did not refund me so i've paid a 300 dollars here for levels for the discord i got to use one day i mean i've shared one day's worth of levels and he banned me from access to the levels i paid for and he refuses to refund me and he had the audacity so i let him in the discord i let him promote his product but then he just took over the whole discord and it was just non-stop greater smarts promote i'm not interested in that so anyway i kicked him out again in my discord promoting non-stop his product he kicked me off the levels i paid 300 dollars for and he won't let us share them in the discord and i said even just for the month like let's test them out and see how they work but he was not down with a test of his stuff i mean even to test them for here or one week he wants here 57 dollars for a seven day trial i wish i had only purchased that to be honest but it is what it is. I got scammed out of $300, guys. So he responds to my email and he says, yes, I got it canceled. No, I'm not gonna refund a subscription that was purchased with the sole intent to redistribute in direct violation of the terms of service. But as of now, I'm not gonna take legal action either. So there's that. I don't really do individual discounts unless I run some type of sale or promotion. That is very rare. I'm happy to provide a group rate if you want to create a private channel, but I would need access to those as well as to the Discord so I can monitor how many people are in them. We can talk about pricing when I know how many people are interested. Obviously, the more there are, the greater the discount. If you want to take a poll or something, that would be great. Also, we're going to launch an affiliate program here shortly. Maybe you're interested in, if so, I'll keep you posted. Did you bump me? from the discord again so this freaking guy is talking about ripping me off for three hundred dollars and he wants me to affiliate for him oh and then the icing on the cake is so apparently he's become a moderator in the trader oracles discord and he booted me so now i'm banned from trader oracles discord alpine's discord nutty banned me from his youtube i'll tell you what damn good kyle did not ban me he is not a puss so there you have it, a little drama in the Discord. So I was hoping I could use the money from YouTube to do something to support the community. I thought these levels would be fun, but I can see Tony's point. You know, he doesn't want me redistributing his levels. Like I totally get it, which is why I said, I immediately stopped when he was upset and I also let him promote his products. He was taken care of in the end and he shouldn't be trying to scam me. So before you decide to work with this, levels here i just wanted to let you guys know about my experience i'm gonna call tony a scammer he is officially a scammer on my list honestly i didn't really see the benefit of these levels i thought my own were better so purchase at your own risk guys um, i've also seen other people complain that they tried to cancel subscriptions and had a difficult time getting that done so buyer beware guys i want to follow up on my last video which i did make a scam video about my damn good kyle um someone had sent me some information on a course he was offering and i uh, made a video about it assuming he was another scammer but i've spent some time in kyle's discord and i was wrong Kyle recently got a $60,000 payout from Fast Track Trading. I have been in this Discord and in the Fast Track Trading Discord trolling him pretty relentlessly. He is a great sport. I've come to learn that he's just a young guy with a lot of personality and a nice family. So I haven't seen his course material. I don't really know what that's about. I know he trades live. I have not watched his live trading. I have seen his fighting match videos and I'm teasing him all the time about he can't fight. But I do see in the Discord, it's a very supportive community. A lot of the traders in there are making big payouts. I definitely would recommend you check out his live stream and his uh, Discord and go from there and make your own decisions. But congratulations to Kyle and everyone I see in this Discord getting big payouts. That is really awesome, guys. So I just wanted to touch base. I got a bunch of questions about my trading and I want to talk about how I, I did a video and I talked about how my strategy works. 
I think people are confused because when I show pictures of my trades, I usually take them from the entry chart. I don't use the entry chart here to base my trade decisions. Currently, I'm using the Trader Oracle's Optimus on Ninja. Um, it's got Bollinger Bands. It's got little arrows. I call them dots. You know, on his trading platform, they are actually dots. On this Ninja, they are arrows and he follows the dots. So you get arrow entries and then you get these little triangles that are the dots, right? Once I figure out what my targets are, I basically just use these little dots to enter. But at that point, I could use anything, a pivot break, a candle closing on its high. I'm using the 2000 tick chart because that's what Oracle uses, um, but primarily I trade on Renko's. I just wanted to clarify that this chart is just how I enter and manage my trades. I am not making trade and date decisions based on this. What I'm doing is I'm using my daily chart and my large brick Renko right here. I've got this chart open just as an extra chart to take trades on. I'm trading multiple accounts and I do not use a trade copier. I trade on two computers on three different platforms now and I'm trading all these accounts at the same time. So that's why you see extra charts on my screens. I am using this daily chart. I've got today's levels marked off. <clears throat> and here is a trade I took today, guys, two micros. I was going for 500 ticks up to uh, 191.88. I was gonna front run that 200 target. And then I was going for 150 ticks on my first target. Now this turquoise line on my chart here is the daily candle open. It's where the daily candle opened, right here. And that was my target. I always need to know where my target is. So I use this to figure out what the trend direction is and then I follow the bricks on this chart here. Follow the volume profile and the bricks. If these bricks are green, I'm always in long. If they're red, I'm always in short. And I always go by the most recent closed brick, not this current one, because that could close red or green. I don't know. I go by the prior brick. So I'm not trading based on Oracle's system. I think he has a good system. It really work, works well for my strategy. But honestly, once I figure out what direction we're going, I'm looking for any reason to enter. Always in long is always in long, guys. Um, so that was one question I wanted to resolve. You know, these two charts right here are how I trade, okay? These charts make all my decisions for me and then I enter on this. These expected weekly and daily levels I post every day in the Discord. I also post in the Discord the volume profile levels for the prior day. Uh, so if you want access to them, just send me an email and I will give you access to the Discord. Um, so another thing I get asked a lot or another question I'm getting a lot is how where do my stops go now mm -hmm. in the Google Drive I have my strategy rules and documents and I have my recommended ATM strategies I basically go in with a hundred tick stop and a hundred tick target and then I adjust it like on this trade right here I had my stop initially when I entered at the bottom of that pivot here and my stop was initially at the bottom of this pivot here uh, once it went over 10 points I move my stop up to the next pivot and if you see here there's a white candle with a wick at the bottom that is a mini pullback I put my stop there and I was taking this trade on this medium brick chart today but I was front running and my target was up here at the round number we opened yesterday at 100 level and I was looking to get to that open and then back up here I also took this elevator all the way up here I got a lot of great trades today I do take a lot of pictures and put them in the Discord when I'm trading. Sometimes I do go live in the Discord. But I just want to point this out. My target too is 276 and that's 75. So it's about 350 for this one trade. And look how much I'm risking, guys. I'm trading two micros. If your goal is three to $500 a day, you're one trade and you're done. Now, a lot of times I'll get my main target and then I'll get stopped out of my runner, which isn't a big deal. I just wait and enter again. You know, I might enter three or four times to get up to my target. I'm locking in them small gains and hopefully getting a runner. And a lot of times I do get these big runners. I just wanted to share that, you know, don't go just by the ATMs. And when you're trading these, like when this hits target one, you want to move this to break even plus some. And I like to get above like a, a bur above or below around number. So I would have moved my stop probably to just below 70 
and hope I gave it enough room, but I've locked in some too. Especially when you're trading micros because the commissions are expensive, so you want to lock in at least enough to cover your commission. So I hope that helps. Your target goes where it needs to go. You know, if you're entering the trade, where is the target? For me, my targets are going to be the daily open, um, the R1, which is the uh, Fibonacci pivot extension, or I'm going for the New York session open, which I always plot the uh, the high of the day, you know, a volume, volume profile level that's outstanding, a naked POC, you know, a daily expected move, a weekly expected move. Like I need to know what my target is before I take any trades. If I can't figure out what direction I'm going and what my target is, I don't take the trade. So, and sometimes, you know, like a little, for a little while today, it did get a little confusing and I was not trading. So, um, you know, we it looks like we have a doji where we're straight in the middle of the expected high and the low. I saw a good case for both ways and I just wasn't sure. So I just sat on my hands until I figured it out. Um, but I just wanted to share that. I'm not going to get too in the weeds. I am going to make some more trading videos soon. All right, that's all I've got for this video. In the video description, you are going to find links to my Google Drive. On my Google Drive, you're going to find folders for indicators, my personal charts. I have got my strategy rules document here. This has all of my strategy rules as well as my ATMs and my recommended brick sizes. If you're interested in using my Renkos or my entry charts, you're going to go to chart templates. Oracle chart template, you're going to load all of the indicators in this folder and then you want to install the micro entry chart. If you don't know how to install templates, I've made a video on it. It's called how to install NinjaTrader indicators and chart templates. It will tell you how to do it. The video description, you're going to find links to all the prop firms that I'm using and recommend. These are affiliate links. If you use my links, I really appreciate it. I will get 10% of your purchase price. I also have a link in here to the Albrooks trading course. Guys, this is the only trading course I recommend anybody take. Albrooks is the godfather of price action trading. This is where I learned I purchased this course. Uh, it's about $400 and hundreds of hours of course material. I highly recommend that you take that course at some point in your trading journey. There are links to all of my trading view charts. I've got a, tons of stuff in here. All of this is free. I am just uh, creating a resource repository for you guys. And uh, everything here is free for you. So have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.